Okay, so in this demo, I want to show you how we can support queryable and the OData query syntax in our Web API controllers, even if we're not doing full-blown OData. The starting point here is the customer's controller that we had from the first module with the update operation stripped out of it. So it just has the query side of things, which is the only thing that the URL syntax is really going to affect. If you remember, we had the overall collection get operation, which returns all customers, and it did it by going to our Northwind DB context, to the customer's collection, doing a two array, which causes iteration and returns the collection of customers. The first step in supporting queryable is that you need to pull down the OData bits for Web API. To add OData support, I'm gonna to go to the web project, right click and select manage NuGet packages. I'm gonna make sure it's searching in the official package source and I'm gonna search on Web API OData. There you can see I'm installing the Web API OData package and now it's installed in my project. Now I can go to my get customers method in my customers controller, and I can change the return type from iEnumerable to iQueryable, and I'll get rid of the two array that causes iteration at the end of customers. Now we're just returning the expression tree from our Northwind DB context that represents the underlying customers collection. And it will be the web API stack that iterates over that to produce the collection. Now to allow to accept the OData query syntax, we just need one attribute. We go up here and we say queryable is the attribute we want to add to that method, and we're done. Now I can fire this thing up in the browser. I can go to slash API slash customers, and you can see we get back customers as we have seen before. But now I can start tacking on some of that OData query syntax. So for example, I could do a filter on the country. So for example, I could add on here a filter condition looking for country equal to Germany. And I hit enter. And now if we look at the resulting customers, all of them are from Germany. So with just that much work, add the OData NuGet package, ASP.NET Web API OData, change your return type to be iQueryable, make sure that you are actually returning a queryable based on the link provider, and put the queryable attribute on your query method. And now OData syntax can come down to that method. Now this doesn't support the full range of querying that I mentioned. For example, you might be tempted to do a dot include here and include something like orders and want to be able to use the relation syntax that I showed in the previous demo to drill down into those orders. You're not gonna be able to do that unless you define an entity data model, which we'll get into in a subsequent module. But filtering, ordering, top and skip will all work just fine on top of your iQueryable here of customers. 